Coming in at 7,960 pounds, this was previously known as the 28SGS Cougar, which I believe means sofa galley slide. Uh, this is the newly revised 27SGS Cougar here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Essentially the same RV, but they revised it to give it more kitchen countertop space that really I think this model truly benefits from having. Now, very much like its predecessor, the 28 SGS. When the 27 SGS is closed, you'll get to the bedroom and the bathroom, but that's pretty much it. But that's kind of the price you pay for trying to uh, get dual opposing slides in the smallest living room possible with a uh, actual functional countertop space. Now, the biggest variance you'll see here compared to the previous 28 SGS is this peninsula countertop that sticks out now. It gives us more storage and it gives us more prep space, which the 28 SGS really kind of needed. Um, the uh, Other than that, it's kind of a case of brand new look, same great taste. This is an amazing layout. It's essentially one of the shortest ways you can get a functional triple slide fifth wheel. And what's kind of cool is there's RVs that have windows sometimes on the back, sometimes on the driver's side, sometimes on the uh, camp side. This gives you windows all the way around. And you've also got, of course, those pleated shades to really kind of blot out the sun and, and you know, kill everything. Now, um, by kill everything, I mean like heat from the sun. You're going to block a lot of extra heat from the sun. Poorly phrased. <laughs> kill everything. Anyway, hopefully there's no killing going on. Um, the lights above the dining area here, they're uh, touch sensitive. They're also on a little dimmer switch. So if you want to kind of bring the lights down, if it's movie night or if you have a, a guest sleeping in here, you have the uh, ability to do that. Now, what's also cool is, speaking of sleeping, if you want to, you've got twin pushback recliners right there where you can kind of sneak a midday nap. And those are nice because they're free-floating, so you have excellent individualized seating. But, uh, as I said, you do have good guest capacity. That's where this trifold sleeper sofa is going to come into play. And here's a look at the RV in what I call stealth mode. What that means uh, is uh, all the cabin lights turned off and only like indirect lights or dimmer switch like night lighting. And uh, I like to take a look at this so that if you do have a guest over, you kind of get an idea of you know what it can sort of look like, whether it's a uh, movie night, if you just want to dim the lights down, or if it's early morning, or you know what, what have you. So obviously we've got this uh, trifold sleeper sofa here, and that's adult size. If you need to sleep two adults on it, you can. But notice how you still have the ability to use one of the two full pushback recliners over here. So this thing actually, uh, you know, it's a couple's camper, but if you need to sleep four or five, you can. And those pushback recliners are pretty darn nice for a, uh, you know, a sort of midday nap. And then just to give you a contrast between day and night mode, you kick on the lights, and it makes just one heck of a difference in here. Now those lights I was playing with, uh, I was controlling that from the in-command control panel that's uh, right up here. And what this is, if you're not familiar with it, it's a touch screen control system that uh, operates most of your RV's major systems. Now, you don't have to use the um, uh, keypad, or pardon me, the key code like I just did, to be able to get to your, like, your lights, your water heater, basic functions you can operate without needing the, the security code. But what's kind of cool is that with it, uh, what you'll find is anything you can do on this pad, you can also do right from your phone with a free app. So... If you're laying in bed at night and you decide that it's uh, too hot or too cold, you want to change the air conditioner around perhaps, you can do all of that right from here. You don't even have to get up. Another thing is a mechanical like um, prevention protection thing. So what I mean by that is if you are setting up camp and maybe there's something outside, you want to make sure that slide out can open without crushing something. You can grab your phone, you can go outside, and you can open the slide out. Or if I'm standing here at this handy control panel, you can't see the bedroom slide close. So you're hoping it can close without crushing anything. But with in-command, you could poke your head through that door, you could push the button, and you could make sure that you're not going to break anything. Or you could sit under your awning and open the awning. I mean, you, you get the idea. It does a lot of neat things. Now, you don't want to have to, if you're sitting back on these pushback recliners, you don't want to have to get up and walk over to that control panel every time you want to turn the lights on and off. And the good news is the people at Cougar had their heads on straight. You don't have to because the top switch back here 
is a light switch for your main cabin. You'll also find another of those switches in the bedroom. So that, uh, you know, in command can turn all the interior main uh, ceiling lights on all at once. Or you can zone light them uh, either off the panel itself, off your phone, or with those handy little switches. Now, both sides of the recliners here have storage stands. They actually will open. There's some storage space below them. And they have power outlets. So they're going to be very handy if you like to uh, charge your phones. Or if it's a little chilly and you want to sit there like a little heated blanket, you've got a cool little spot to do that. Um, the uh, table and chairs over here, uh, it's pretty much been a staple mainstay of this floor plan since its inception. And what it creates is just a, uh, a bigger, more open feeling. It's less blocky, less bulky, and uh, a little more comfortable for uh, a common couple's arrangement. A lot of times people will leave two of those chairs back at home if you're not expecting guests. Great airflow through those big windows, by the way. Now over here, we have this just very generously sized jumbotron of a 4k hd tv and there's actually some storage behind it too that we'll see in a minute below of course dvd bluetooth and electric space heating fireplace so you don't need to burn up all of your propane just to uh you know be able to get some bonus heat into the rv but what i want to really zero in on here and spend more time on is the kitchen because this is what they revised to improve the 28 sgs to its current 27 sgs sister or replacement, or as it were. Um, the uh, countertops are still all pressed membrane, so that they're going to be waterproof. Now you can see that you've got more countertop prep space, and check out those easy reach appliance outlets, ladies and gentlemen. It is always simple and easy to get to there. We have a stainless double sink, and the covers are fitted, so, uh, so they're uh, actually kind of flush mount basically with the countertop level. And that is a uh, actual like metallic stainless high-rise sprayer faucet, not a plastic sprayer that's just kind of been colored to look stainless. You know, they're very good about using good quality hardware in here. So, you know, anywhere it matters, they do everything that matters, where it counts, and how it counts in these Cougar RVs. Now, they really didn't miss an opportunity to, to give you storage. They gave you about as much as they possibly could in this space. They made it easy to access, which I appreciate. You've got a couple drawers right here for the campsite chef, and they even gave you a bonus drawer below the oven. You know, they could have made that a little drop-down knuckle buster. It really wouldn't have shocked me or surprised me at all, but they, they took the extra step to make it just that much nicer. And you still have that good overhead cabinet space that uh, was also in the 28 SGS. Now, you've got a little bonus storage here behind the TV. Whether you're going to use that, you know, as like a, a miniature kitchen pantry or if you're just going to use it as... Um, Oh, like DVD storage or something, or if you want to keep like a satellite or Blu-ray player, or whatever back there you can. But notice the way that that TV pivots out. There is not a bad seat in this house. You could sit on the countertop and be front and center. Plus, we have more storage beneath the, uh, beneath, beneath the new Peninsula countertop they just put in the 28 SGS Cougar. And again, this is an area I feel the previous incarnation was lacking. We've got more cabinet space, more counter space, more drawer space, just more of everything in the kitchen, but they didn't have to lengthen the RV one inch. You know, it's a very, very well executed revision. A lot of times when you see uh, a manufacturer go back and play with an existing floor plan, wacky stuff happens. I didn't see any of that happen here. Now you've got a motion sense light right here by these stairs. You can just turn it on or off. But what's cool is it's by the door and it's sensitive enough. As you'll see outside, I'll play with the uh, motion light in the pass-through storage because there's motion lighting there. There's motion lighting in the docking center. You know, they've got it in several locations here. Um, when the uh, If you're outside at night, you don't want to leave a light on inside by the door because you'll, you'll gather a cloud of gnats by the door and you'll be eating bugs on your way in or out. Uh, now, what's also cool is if you get up or down at night, it'll kick on here in the hallway when you need it. Um, so we've already talked about in command, but one quick note, we'll talk more about this outside. Uh, all Cougars now have 12 volt tank heating pads for all of your holding tanks, which is a neat feature. They, uh, we'll say borrowed <laughs> this door from their big sister, Montana. What's cool about this door is whether you're coming from the bedroom or from the kitchen, like I just did, you never have to go backwards down the stairs. It's safer and easier to get to. And really, if you look at it, this is effectively just a scaled down version of a uh, Montana bathroom. You've got that porcelain foot flush stool there, plenty of leg room, good linen space, easy walk-in shower that's very tall person friendly with that corner seating space, which is also very, very handy, and a good, good vanity. 
Uh, you know, you've got some overhead lighting here so you can feel very self-conscious about yourself and an extra large mirror where you can, you know, zero right in on all of your personal little insecurities. But again, maybe that's just my life. <laughs> More of that sealed edge countertop stuff here too, and a really big sink. Now another thing that's really cool, and this is a good place to get to see it, because you get two doorways side by side. They really make their doorways extra thick in, in almost all your Keystone brands. It's a three inch fully studded out doorway here. And that's what's kind of cool is the interior walls of the Cougar are kind of structural. And that goes along with another thing you don't usually see in a fifth wheel in this size and category. And that is that it has thicker two inch side walls usually fifth wheels in this class have an inch and a half wall. It's very uncommon that a brand has that thicker two inch wall, just like a big Montana luxury fifth wheel, you know? So the, the methodology here between your Keystone brands is very, very consistent. So that's what's kind of cool. Now, again, you do have an in-command normal wall light switch for your overhead lighting in here. You don't have to go in and out and get to that control pad. You don't have to do it from your phone. You just can. And they put a huge window here in the bedroom to give you tons of light, tons of airflow. Now those are not hanging closets on each side of the bed. Those are just personal his and hers sort of storage closets. Almost, I guess we'll call it an elevated dresser. Down below, you've got wide open stands, so you're not going to feel claustrophobic. You've got power outlets, again, great for heated blankets, um, you know, phone chargers, etc. Uh, also, uh, notice how they radius the corners of those overhead elevated dressers so that you don't have a sharp corner jabbing you in the arm. That is a 60 by 80 true queen. And did you notice when I was panning around earlier, there's no more that like nine inch step in front of the bed. They, they did this, what's funny is by accident, but it doesn't matter if they did it on accident or purpose. It's there and it's awesome. They got this thing down to like two and a half, maybe three inches. I haven't tape measured it, but it's smaller, much. And, um, you know, you're not going to roll your ankle if you slip off that thing and fall down and fall around. Um, now, these are all 50 amp service. And even though your main air conditioner is a 15,000 BTU, you have the ability to add a second air from the factory level, or we can do it here at Halo RV if that's what you need before you take it home. Now, they uh, have fully mirrored wardrobe doors so that it really reflects a lot of light from that mirror or the skylight in a way, that vent that's above the bed currently. But what's great is how they've revised even their closet compared to last year to give us some extra dresser space. Previously, those drawers down below that sliding wardrobe closet, uh, they weren't there. So the closet was cool. It was nice and big, but it was so tall that it, it kind of quit being beneficial. And they looked at it and said, you know what? We made that thing so big that we could add a shelf, which creates more storage space, and we could give them three extra drawers, which is obviously more storage space, and not have to revise anything. So constantly looking, not just at how can they make the next one good, but constantly always looking at their previously built models to say, how can we make it better? The color package and everything that they have in these Cougars currently, man, it is on point. It is just sharp. It's high contrast. It's neutral but it's bold at the same time, which I think is a really difficult thing to try to pull off. Uh, and what's kind of cool is the, I guess call it little cougar fifth wheel that we're looking at. Visibly, it looks nearly identical to the big cougar fifth wheel, and that did not used to always be the case. I love the consistency in the family now, whether it's a trailer, little fifth wheel, big fifth wheel, they all really look the same. Uh, that full nose cap there, uh, it has a full automotive paint package on it, three layers, uh, with two of those being a clear coat to keep that thing protected. So that will help keep this uh, looking good long term, prevent those fade issues. It's also really striking how they're still using the raised lettering on the nose there, it just catches your eye and draws your attention right to it right away. It's also highly, highly reflective, which is kind of neat. It, again, it just it's just more of eye candy. Um, they've started including a uh, shock dampening pin box on these to give you a smoother ride so that getting there is uh, a little more enjoyable as opposed to only being there being enjoyable. They have done some interesting structural uh, improvements to these over the last couple years. Like you notice, there is no longer any pre-cracked fiberglass right below that bedroom slide, as is still the case with a lot of brands out there. They basically, they bulked up their upper deck frame. And really, there was nothing necessarily wrong with it before. It's just better now. There's a difference between good and better. Um, we are now zero degree rated on anything that says Cougar. Previously, that was true only on the big Cougar fifth wheels. Uh, part of that 
is uh, a revision to their privatized docking center. You've got all uh, heated protected gate valves. Down here you do have a solar prep plug, a uh, battery disconnect to keep uh, phantom load from eating up your battery while it's in storage, and a full outside shower here. And that is another of those motion sensitive lights up top. So it'll, it's like a refrigerator. It'll kick on when you need it, kick off when you don't. Now these have had an enclosed and heated belly for a very long time, and they still do but now they have more, which is how they're able to achieve zero degree uh, functionality, proven tested. So uh, it's enclosed, heated, insulated, uh, additional layers of uh, heat reflective material added into the uh, roof, around the nose cap, under the pin box, the slides, basically pretty much everywhere. Uh, they have a vented attic, which is the gap between the ceiling panel and the uh, roof decking, so that in the summertime, it's not just a, uh, a broiling hot box up there. And then they also have 12 volt tank heater pads on all of the holding tanks. They also not only have direct forced air heating, uh, heating in the underbelly, but they have uh, termination ports off that heat run so that every single holding tank has hot air directly forced onto it when the furnace is on. Pretty darn cool. Now, this is how we typically build these. Remember, you can get these a couple different ways. Uh, in the Midwest, we don't really see fifth wheels in this size and category call for a lot of auto leveling. It's available, but it's expensive, and most people go, eh, is, is, with this size of fifth wheel, I can deal with it. Um, it's, and the thing is, we still have power stabilizer jacks on the back. Everything is still push button simple. You never have to manually crank anything, which I think is the main goal a lot of people are looking for. You actually level front to back with your front power jacks, then you just drop the rear jacks down with a simple button to stabilize. Right behind the rear stabilizers, though, it's easy to miss, is a sewer hose uh, little caddy tube, so that that sewer hose is not, um, you know, mingling up with your, your campsite stuff. Now you can see the white section in those tail lights in the back. This has reverse travel lighting so that when you shift into reverse, those bright lights will kick right on. Very similar to just backing up with your car. Very handy if you utilize that backup camera prep to put a rear view or in motion camera on there. Another neat note, all of the lights, whether it's tails, markers, whatever, uh, clearance lights, they're all LED. Cougar includes a factory installed two inch receiver hitch on the back here, not for towing, for accessories, there is a difference between the two. Um, but the point is, you could add a bike rack. You could put a small generator tray on here. You could do things like that without voiding the industry's most comprehensive three-year structural warranty out there. There's a bunch of these uh, three-year uh, protection things, but they're not all created equally, and Keystones is, hands down, the single most comprehensive of its type out there. And once again, I'd just like to give a nod to the fact that we've got just windows galore on this thing. Tons of lights, tons of sights, tons of airflow. Uh, especially over here, like right around your dining area, since both of these extra large windows are going to open for great air, you're going to do very well there. Now, a lot of brands talk about a lot of things, but I've never heard a brand talk about as many, I think, important detail factors as Cougar. For instance, you hear all the time, Oh, we've got a walk-on roof. Well, I think pretty much all fifth wheels do. I think that's what I call a gimme feature. They all got that. But do they have walkable slide boxes? Because Cougar talks about that, because they do. I don't hear other brands talking about it. And typically, if they don't talk about it, it's probably because they don't have it. Just an interesting thing to think about there. You've got the rough cottage cheesy textured seal gripping slide walls. You've got a triple slide seal system going on, uh, right along with that double two inch wall, or well, uh, thicker two inch wall. So there's always three seals in contact with the slide wall at any time when it's all the way open or closed. Um, also, you may have spotted, I managed to actually get it pulled open enough, you can see the interior like rain gutter. There's a rain gutter that will channel any water that does wick its way past uh, downward to dribble harmlessly out. Now, for water that washes down the side wall of the slide, there's an inversion groove right here because without assistance, which water rarely has when the RV's sitting still, water cannot go up. It can only go down or maybe wick sideways to a degree. Well, when it hits that inversion groove, it will bead and dribble and drip so that, you know, you don't get a spongy soft slide floor after a couple years. Because that stuff, that won't happen in year number one. This is built to last longer than, than the warranty is, is the idea. The More Ride Stable Steps is a newer addition here at the time of this filming, and those have become just an ultra-popular feature, and for good reason. 
they especially people who feel a little bit motion sick in the rv sometimes when other people come and go because you don't have your sea legs as it were well these things since they support your weight and since the feet can be adjusted to meet your campsites they're always sturdy and stable we have a uh, anti-slam entry door with that larger handle and you can see that our uh, power awning here does have full uh, led lighting at the base now you can operate the awning, remember, via the in-command system, so you could operate it right from your phone if you are so inclined. Now you can see we've got the uh, double compression latches, double magnet holdbacks, so that if it's a little windy, this big door is not going to clock you on the head. But recently here, in their smaller uh, Cougar series, which is what we're looking at, they completely redesigned the belly. Remember I talked about that up in the bedroom. When they got rid of the step-up, uh, by and large anyway, it was kind of an accident, but it was a happy accident because what they were doing is redesigning their basement to make this bigger, like a bigger cougar. Now, did you notice that motion light doing its job down there like a champ? To the left of that, we have uh, outside TV hookups, and that is our in-command module, effectively. Uh, if you're not familiar with in-command, uh, I've done separate videos on it. I've talked about it in a lot of videos, but long story short, it's just a, uh, it's a superior wiring system, effectively that what it's gonna do for you guys is, uh, first of all, it's easier to access the all color-coded wiring that Keystone uses. They were the first towable manufacturer to color code all their wires. As a result, we don't seem to see any electrical issues with Keystones because the guys who are wiring them can more easily see what they're doing. Crazy idea, right? I know. Um, you know, this is, it's not new technology. Motorized RVs have done that for years, but Keystone was the first towable manufacturer to do it, and a lot of them still do not. Now, secondly, God forbid you did need work on it, which you won't, um, it's easier to track down because tech labor is, oh my God, expensive, and now it's just not an issue. Uh, the other thing is, let's say, God forbid, that touchscreen panel inside, I don't know, gets broken for whatever reason. Something bad happens. Neighbor kid hits it. I don't know. It doesn't matter. There's still a manual switch in that in-command panel to operate all your slides, your jacks, your awning, any mechanical motorized item. So you're not going to be uh, a beached whale or a beached cougar. <laughs> so I think we're good down here. Let's take a hop upstairs. I do like that nose cap lighting. Take a look at that. And there are a couple key features I want to point out here. In a couple of my roof tours, which I'm not really sure there's a lot of other people doing roof tours, um, the, uh, you know, we're willing to go the extra mile for a Halo RV even before we've met you. I mean, if I'm up here on a wet roof, guys, uh, before I've even met you, imagine what our team and our dealership is willing to do on any of the 500-ish uh, RVs that we have out here for you once we have met you. Just kind of consider that and ponder that. But these white caps, these are the uh, attic vents. So that again, if the sun is bearing down on this thing, it, uh, it's basically not a hot box that's gonna cook you from the top down. Now, uh, you can also notice they are very heavy handed with their sealants on Cougar RVs. And they've got a newer uh, TV antenna system that basically just gonna get you more range, more reception, which equates to more channels with more clarity. Other than that, I think we're pretty much good up here. There's just a few key things I like to point out. Although, man, look what they do on this front termination strip. They just, it's like, it's the way my wife describes my sense of humor. I just lay it on pretty thick. <laughs> She's not wrong. I love her. Uh, short of that, though, a little peek into my life. Give us a call, guys. We are willing to do whatever it takes to make this work for you. Uh, you know, we don't do hidden dealer fees. We do hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. So, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.